This is Three Minute Math with Mr. White. In this episode, we're going to be talking about factoring AX squared plus BX plus C. In other words, how to reverse FOIL trinomials that do not have a leading coefficient of 1. So it's something other than 1. Let's get right to it. Earlier in your math class, you learned how to FOIL. You took two binomials and you multiplied them together, and you took the F, the O, the I, and the L, and you multiplied them all out. So for example, the F, you would get 6x squared. The outside, you would get 2x and 2, that's 4, when you multiply them. On the inside, you take 3 times 1, you get 3x. And then finally, the L would be 1 times 2 and 2. And then you would, of course, would combine the middle terms, and you get 6x squared plus 7x plus 2. So now the question is, is how do you undo that multiplication problem? What would the two binomials be that you're looking at that multiply to be 6x squared plus 7x plus 2? Well, there is an algorithm that you can use to actually figure this out. What you do is you take your leading coefficient here, it's 6, and you take your constant here, which is 2, and you multiply them together and you get the number 12. And then you ask yourself, okay, so how do you make 12 through multiplication? What makes 12? Well, there's 12 times 1, there's 6 times 2, and there's 4 times 3. Now, you analyze that middle term, which is a 7, and you ask which of those combinations, the 12 and 1, 6 and 2, 4 and 3, which of those adds up to 7? Well, of course, it's the 4 and the 3. So we're going to highlight that. We're going to use 4 and 3. We're going to take the 7x, and we're going to split it into 4 and 3. In other words, 4x plus 3x. Bring back the other terms there, 6x squared plus 4x plus 3x plus 2. That's the same as our original polynomial there. Now we're going to use what's called the grouping method, and you did this back in Algebra 1. You're going to group the first two together and just focus on those two and ask yourself, what's the GCF on these two terms? And of course, the GCF here is 2x, so when you factor that out, you get 2x times the quantity 3x plus 2. Now you focus on the last two terms and you ask yourself what's the GCF there? Well in this particular problem the GCF is 1. So we're going to factor out a 1 and write a parenthesis 3x plus 2. Now if you notice they both have what's called a common binomial 3x plus 2. So maybe you remember this from algebra 1 but you will factor that out and write it out front. So I factored it out, I wrote it, and then you write what's left behind. We have a 2x that was left behind for the first term, and then a positive 1 that was left behind for the second term. Well, look at that. We now have the two binomials down at the bottom of the screen. So 6x squared plus 7x plus 2 will split into 3x plus 2 times 2x plus 1. And this has been a quick primer on how to factor polynomials where the leading coefficient is not 1. This is Mr. White with 3-Minute Math.